Hey guys, welcome back to Tin Cup Outdoors. Today we're taking my 1991 Volkswagen Vanagon with a 1.9 TDI swap on a 700 plus mile trip. The plan right now is to head east to Talamina State Park and stay the night. After that, we're headed north to Bentonville for some mountain biking and then home to Oklahoma City. Just filled up the van again. down that last hill, heard a boop, and then lost a bunch of power. What I think happened is the turbo boot blew off, and uh, now we have no boost. I see a little coal rolling out the back. Um, so we're gonna limp it to the campsite and uh, put the boot back on. All right, we just made it to uh, the campground, winding stair. This is our campsite. Um, Pretty nice little area. Here's the van with all of our junk packed in the back. It is full to the brim. So now I have to unload the trunk so I can get to the engine and fix that turbo boot. Wind blowing through all the trees, tall pines. So we're going to set up camp and fix the bus. And Grayson mm -hmm. is going to hang out with us. All right, we got our tent set up. All the junk out of the back. So it looks like the turbo elbow might have actually broken in there. Oh yeah, it broke. So we're gonna have to figure out how to fix that. So here's the boot. Looks like it didn't break. He actually cut it. But what we're gonna have to figure out is this just slid off because there's no um, like hose nipple. So we're gonna try and just get it back in there tight and uh, we will come up with a better solution when we get to town or when we get home. Another problem we ran into was the water pump and power steering um, V-belt was really loose. I tightened it before we left, but by the time we got here, it was super loose, chirping, and luckily it was still keeping the engine cool. But I've got a spare, brand new one. That one's really old, so hopefully the new one is a little bit tighter and uh, will actually let me adjust it and keep it taut and that should last us for the rest of the trip at least all right so while Grayson is playing with rocks I put the new belt in 
and uh, it is really tight. Even with the power steering all the way loose, the belt is, is tighter than the old one. Um, it tensions the uh, belt with this bolt back here. And you just pry this out and then tighten that bolt. And then uh, while I was tightening it, this extra piece, it, it must be extra because it came off, um, fell on the ground. So what this extra piece is, is a little piece of casting that goes on the bottom side of the bolt. And uh, this bolt that keeps the belt tight um, is bolted to that. So without the bottom piece, it's only tightening on the top of that slot. Um, and it is really tight right now brand new belt so even i'm thinking that even if that bolt completely fails and doesn't hold it at all it's still is tighter than uh than it was A little dirt, nobody never hurt nobody. little campsite with a view I don't know what the deal is it's right off the road it's like there's plenty of room for camping so it might be just a free-for-all campsite in that case it'd be pretty cool a bit more secluded than the campground we're at but we're just checking out stuff. Time to keep going. Right, little bud? Me and little buddy are gonna go explore this little hill. Uh, I don't know really where it goes. It's on the top of the Sunset Mountain, uh, or Sunset Vista. It's a big bite, dude. There's a little bit more.
Oh, God, we're going back in. There's only the butt of it. Do you want the banana butt? Nope, that's the wrong part. There you go, that's the butt. <laughs> yum, yum, yum. We're out at Sunset Point. Her view. Little Grayson saying hello. On the way out here, we heard a little clanking from this tire. That's the tire that fell off the other day. And uh, before this trip, we put some shocks on it. And as you can see, that shock bolt um, rattled right out. What I'm gonna do now is just take it out um, and make sure the other side is extra tight. I tightened with a breaker bar, so I don't know how it came out. It didn't have a lock nut on it. That might've been it. And just before the sun goes down, I got the shock out. Ready to go. got out to the Sunrise Point. And it's really just across the street from the campground. Uh, it's 7 o'clock now. The sun's just coming up. So we're just heating up some coffee and uh, gonna hang out. Packed up, leaving our camp. Really nice campground. It's campsite number nine. All right, let's go dump this trash and get out of here. We're at Kamichi Overpass. Taylor is having some difficulty with that door. Just made it to Arkansas. Uh, there's the state sign border and leaving Oklahoma. And we're gonna just keep going down the Telamina Drive. Taylor's my co pilot, and Grayson is my uh, freeloader back there sleeping. Uh, <laughs> we're going to Mina. Get some coffee. And some diesel because it's a little bit low. All right, the Vanagon made it up to this little fire tower. Looks like it's pretty closed, but I don't know. I'm gonna figure I'd go check it out. We're very much locked, so won't be able to go up the fire tower. Thirty-seven bucks. Okay, we're leaving Mena, Arkansas right now. We came down from the scenic drive and then uh, went and had breakfast, refueled the, the van, uh, took 10 gallons of fuel, 
averaged about 27 miles per gallon, which I'm quite happy with going up and down those hills. Uh, but now we are headed up to Bentonville. It's about 170, 180 miles. Should take about three hours for a normal car and uh, four or five for us. Oh no. <laughs> uh, hopefully. Our belts are all loose. That part that broke did not hold the power steering very tight at all. But they're still working. It just squeaks and doesn't sound very cool. It's a bummer. Anyway, three hour drive. Let's do it. Time to fix the van. We are in the middle of nowhere in Arkansas. Found a new bolt at a uh, true value. Went to a couple of them to find them, but nobody had a 12 millimeter by 1.5. And see if it stays on this time. All right, tools are back in. Before, if we went over 55, this tire would just bounce whenever we hit a bump. It felt like the death wobble. We're about 30 minutes away from Bella Vista. And uh, those two are napping. Mason has been an intermiss all day. Is he crying? They fit pretty good. Looks like the van is getting more than just bikes in it. Right. How they use me. They use me for my van. Okay, we're about leaving Bentonville. Um, we actually stayed in Bella Vista last night, so we are leaving now. Comes today, we got about a four hour drive back to Oklahoma City make a stop on the way back for food. GPS was a little bit confused. We're going down a big main road and then it turned us on this little tiny dirt road in the middle of nowhere, Oklahoma. But as long as the baby's asleep, it doesn't matter. This is what I see every time I turn around in the van. So we keep a, a bag of little snacks up here for him. Gotta keep the little guy happy. All right, um, driving down the highway, here's something go bang. I had no idea what it was until we pulled over and as you can see, something is missing coming off the back of my turbo. That would be the entire exhaust system fell off the motor. The exhaust comes out of the turbo and then uh, bracket welds on there. Those welds broke and uh, those welds broke. This is going to be as good as I can get it today. I removed the uh, overflow coolant tank. So hopefully air will come up and blow out of this back check port. Um, hopefully that'll keep my temperatures inside cool enough. Planning on going like 30 minutes at a time. We only got an hour and a half left. He just ate and pooped his pants. So should be going back to bed soon. All right, so we just got back. I unloaded most of the van and I'm doing a little like uh, post trip analysis on the van. Um, there's a few things starting with the exhaust. As you can see, it completely fell off, broke right here at the flange. Um, the hanger also broke, but it wasn't like a flex hanger, so that I should have seen coming. 
Uh, the other problem was the belt system. As you can see, my belt's still on there, really loose. So I'm gonna have to redo that whole system. Hopefully I can find like a serpentine belt kit for these guys, uh, to be determined. Um, the other problem I found is all this oil spraying. A lot of oil. And that is all coming from this dipstick tube that I broke and then put some electrical tape on. So that is uh, something I knew was a problem. Um, just gotta put it on the list and fix it. My fuel lines are super dry rotted. So the plan with these guys is to get some AN adapter fittings, run AN fittings with AN braided line to the fuel tank and from the filter to the pump. After it sits for a while, it kind of gets air in the lines. I haven't noticed any drips, but it just makes it hard to start in the morning. Other than those like seven problems, really not that many things wrong with the van after a 700 plus mile trip. At the end of the day, I think that when you get back from a trip in a van again, if it's in less than six pieces, then you've won. And uh, clearly, my van is only in four pieces, so um, that's an absolute win. And uh, we all made it back. It was a fun trip. Crazy to see all the stuff in uh, the Talmina area, uh, all the way up to Bentonville in Arkansas, and then back through um, the, the hilly country of Oklahoma. 700 plus miles, van did great the whole way, except for those like seven times where it broke down a little bit. But other than those, it did great. Um, and really, I can't complain at all. It was an awesome trip. Looking forward to fixing this one up and then getting back on the road for May 16th to Hot Springs, Arkansas for a Volkswagen show uh, and checking out the National Park sound there. So stay tuned and uh, thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video. Mm -hmm.